to part three and on part three what we're gonna do is we're going to do a weight transfer we're gonna do a vertex paint and probably we're gonna do we're gonna render the shirt or bake it and then we're going to flip the normals so let's go <laughs> to do a weight transfer what we need to do is open the blender version 2.70 um, I think it's because this is the recommended version for Sims 4 Studio. So yeah, this is this grayish, grayish, old gray <laughs> um, version. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open the um, file that we just saved. Let's go ahead and find that file first. So the folder is the sweater and then blender and then this one. Now this will show up. It's like an ashy gray <laughs> old gray where did that came from okay anyway so once that we have this let's go ahead and unhide the reference and you want to make sure that you go to wet paint change your view to wet paint and then expand this because you will need this now so sweater would be on uh, wet paint wet paint weight paint and then reference, we also wanna the view to be weight paint there. So what you need to do is select reference first and then shift select sweater. Once that's done, go to this side, go to tools, and then select transfer weights. Well, you know that it's done when this will when this shows up. Okay. So that's actually done. Honestly, um, I have never encountered any problems um, before with this. But if you wanted to check, uh, what they suggest is go to solid like that. Let's unhide. Let's hide this first. And then this will all turn into blue. And then go to this. Select the select these, these things right here. I honestly don't know how what this is <laughs> actually. <laughs> but if it looks like that, that's all good. Right? I honestly don't don't know what this is for. <laughs> so help me. <laughs> but yeah, that is how it works. Okay. So by the way, in um on this on this part you can delete the reference already. Delete that. And then save this. Okay. Save this as weight paint. I just put WP there then save that now you can close this software and go to or that version and then go back to 2.78 so now here we're gonna open that with paint weight paint blender file which is this now we're gonna do um, vertex paint which is turn everything into green so let's keep that uh, in a solid color or solid shading solid shading and then make sure the sweater is selected here select vertex paint see that will turn green and then press this and then go to hex you can also use this dropper to select the greenest part of your model but to make sure that we are using the greenest green ever you can type in 00ff00 so basically it's like green screen so once that's done, go here that says paint and then set vertex colors. Then all of it is going to turn into green. So yeah, that is what our um, project wants to look like. We want to look like this. We want the color to be like that. Okay. So you can see that it's those textures. It's really, really nice. All right. So let's go back to object mode and then texture and then right here we can save this again actually it's really important that you save your project every time that you make a change and make sure to, to click save as not control s so i'm gonna name this set vector set vertex paint or svp and then save that okay now we can actually export this on our s4s so open your s4s studio Go to main menu and then you wanted to um, export that to the sweater package, which is the nude one. So in meshes, no, you want to import it rather. So import it to your, oh my goodness, to your sweater package, which is this. 
because we want to import that there. Oh my goodness. What? Why did I say export? All right, so look for that folder, and then the one that says um, Blender. The one that we just saved, which is the SVP, that's the one that you wanted to import in your S4S. So while that is waiting, let's make sure that we use our time right. Let's go ahead and render the shirt. All right, so click this camera right here. This is actually the best time for you to render it because you can't render it after you flip the normals. So select all of that, no, unselected. But what we're gonna do is we're going to delete all of the human, human <laughs> vertices, uh, human dots. <laughs> there you go. Let's just delete all of that. Select it and then X faces. So now that it's gone. We also need to delete the, the, the head and the legs. So go to this part, rig, and oh no, not delete but hide it. So check this, uncheck those eyes, make sure that they are closed. <laughs> and then also remove this or hide it or, or click it. Make sure that they are grayed out. Okay. So go back to your sweater and then select that. And then we don't need this layout anymore. So click here to close it. And then we need a new image, new image, and a new size as well. So this is gonna be 1024 by 2048. There you go. Okay, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it untitled because when we save it, that is when I'm going to name it right. So just press OK and then this will show up. There. Okay. So we click this button right here, right? The camera. And then margin is just gonna be two. And then leave this at ambient occlusion. Don't, at this point or at the moment, don't use anything else but ambient occlusion, okay? And then click big, there. There you go, that is our shirt with all of the shadows in it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right, so this can be uh, um, the texture. It, it has a texture for our shirt. I'm gonna show you, hold on. So let's just go ahead and save that first. Save as, and then of course in our folder, I would like an, I would like another folder again. And then I would name it render. Rendered, and then this is where I'm gonna name it, right. So big AO for big ambient occlusion. You can name it whatever. It's really up to you. So let's go back to S4S. So this is what it's gonna look like after we export the SVP file. It's it's gonna look weird, right? Because it doesn't have the texture yet. So let's go back to this side that says texture. And then make sure that these parts right here are empty. So choose diffuse and then import that um that file that we just made. So Here's the render. If it doesn't show up, just click this and select PNG because that was saved as a PNG file. Then it's this one. And there you go. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Alright. That is so nice. Okay. So that is actually perfect. That is pretty. Okay, so what you want to do is save this there so before you do anything else like before you put colors or what not patterns try this on your sims 4 gameplay so what we need to do is go to this right here that the folder for our sweater s for s and then select that sweater package see that's why i like um making a lot of folders in that folder so it's easier for me to find and then I, and then we're going to our mod folder <clears throat> this so let's paste that right there and then let's go ahead and open sims 4 uh -huh, all right we're summer. here okay so this is just a random sim so let's go ahead and look for that sweater so it's gonna be this tops 
and then for us to make for us to find it really easy just to click this thing right here uh -huh. and then select content custom content and it's this one oh my god girl girl do it girl do it okay let's make sure that she is okay um uh. walk girl see nice uh -huh. I honestly don't even need um, ZBrush for this because the texture that I need is already in there. Can you see that? Oh my god. This is amazing. So let's go back to um, Blender. Alright, so we're back to our Blender software and what we're gonna do next is we're going to flip the normals. So what the flip the normals will do, flip normals, not flip the normals. So flip normals will do is that um, it because right now whenever you like look into an angle the backside it disappears so what we wanted to do is not make that disappear disappear that's why we're going to flip the normals okay so what we need to do is open our svv file which is this one and then let's hide this again now select all of that just to make sure but this time we're going to select just the shirt like that so make sure that you select everything like all of the shirt or else you're gonna have a problem later so just select all of that and then go to your 3d um, window and then press P and then selection there you go right so here what we're gonna do is select all of that again and then control C there now switch to object mode and then control V there so this will show up again so delete that and then delete this too there so what you want to do first is this merge this 001 to the first layer Control J and now this one that says 002 select all of that and then spacebar look for flip normals which is this then once that is done merge it to the sweater control J now look now that side does not disappear in this angle Sometimes you actually don't need to flip normals, but I feel like it's recommended that you do it. <clears throat> okay? Also, once you do that, the faces or the poly, the poly will, will be a lot higher. So it's going to be a lot slower when you put it in your Sims 4 Studio. That is also the reason why you want to select all of your folders and turn the mesh into quad. So that when you put it in the blender, it's not going to be too high. The poly is not going to be too high. So now you know. Okay, the next part is going to be um, uploading LODs or level of details for our shirt. This one. So it's going to be this part right here. So after you flip the normals, you wanted to also upload LODs um, on that on that uh, shirt. Because if not, so for example, you just uploaded that. So that's gonna be the shirt, right? This is a level of detail. So basically, if your sim is gonna be further, like you zoom out, that is what your sim is gonna look like if you don't add um, level of details or if you don't add um, or if you don't import any mesh on this on this level. See, that's what it's gonna look like. So we don't want that. That's why we need to add another one. And by the way, here, what you wanted to import here is the file that you, uh, what do you call this, that you flipped, which is this. So by the way, we, let's save this first. So let's rename this flipped. Oi. Why did I type slipped? There, and then save that. 
I honestly don't know how much faces we have, but it's like 33,000. That's actually gonna take some time to load in S4S. Seriously. But I think we want that. <laughs> so that is high quality. So let's go ahead and Im import that. Import. Import our. Import that sweater. So that is gonna take forever. So while that is working on its thing, let's go ahead and decimate it. So decimating, what it will do is that it will lower down the poly so that it's not gonna be, what do you call it? It's not gonna be too hard for Sims, to, Sims 4 Studio to load. Something like that. It's gonna lower down the quality, but I mean, if your Sims is like, like that far, I don't think that you need high qualities on it anymore, right? So let's go ahead and decimate that. So click the sweater, this wrench. Wait, hold on. That and then add modifier and then decimate there. And then this will show up. So this right here, like if I put if I put 0.8, the poly is still gonna be like 40,000. Well, we want it in 001, so maybe let's do 0.6 there. I think that is gonna work. So apply and then rename that. Let's do that for 01. 01. There. And then let's add another one so we can add one for level of detail 02. We can just put 0.5 in this. So that's gonna be half of the poly. And I think that's all right. Zero 02. And we can actually just use this for level of detail 03. Yeah. Let's be um, generous. <laughs> so let's wait for it. By the way, just a heads up, if your poly or the faces is going to be like more than 70,000, don't even try to attempt and upload it here in your Sims 4 Studio Mesh or else it's going to take forever and then it's going to give you an error. So try avoiding that, okay? Because I have, that happened to me a million times already, so yeah. All right, it's done. So the poly is actually around 50,752. And it took me like, what, four, four minutes? Four or five minutes to finish it. So let's go ahead and save that first. And then let's import the rest. What is that? <laughs> okay, there you go. So all of our LUDs are done. And that um, sums up part three of this tutorial. Um, the next tutorial is going to be us putting colors, patterns, or whatnot on our sweater. Let's go.